Today we are going to explore Lotic systems. Lotic was a common word that was used in the early 1900s and is pertaining to or living in flowing water. Even though it's a word that you might not use every day, it is still a helpful word to categorize that type of water body. When you think of that, the first thing you might think of is a river or a stream, but that is just one umbrella term in lotic systems. There are other lotic systems such as springs, cave pools, cave streams, intermediate streams, canals, backwaters, and estuaries. These are interesting, but we are not going to talk about them now. Now, we are going to focus on the group that you probably encountered the most, which are streams. Streams are interesting in that they don't just differ ecologically, but they also differ linguistically. The stream acts as a unit for every other water body similar to in structure. These subwater bodies are brooks, creeks, rivers, runnels, and tributaries. I will describe them to you and more later on this episode, but for now, I'm going to take you on a journey of how water gets into these water bodies. There are two ways that water gets into them, either natural or anthropogenic. Man introduced the natural way is by the downward half of the hydrologic cycle in the precipitation stage. Not all of the precipitation gets into these lotic systems because it can either be taken up by plants, animals, evaporated right away, or percolate down into the soil. If it goes into the lotic systems, the water will pick up all sorts of things from the tiniest dissolved minerals to the absorbed falling leaf. The anthropogenic way is by either having water going down the drains in your house to the sewers or running off outside your house to the storm grates. Both will have the water travel through underground pipes, but the water that goes to the storm grate will be the ones that goes into these systems. Concerning the runoff, the difference is that the water picks up other things besides natural materials along the way. These other things are like inorganic fertilizers on your lawn, motor oil that drips off of cars, contaminants around industrial plants, sites. The point is that it can span any chemical compound that is inorganic to organic and being very acidic to very basic. By now, both the natural and the anthropogenic water came down into the beginning or head area of the water body. To make things simpler, let's say there's no more water flowing into the system after this point. Let's just zoom out for a moment to look at these streams from a bird's eye view. As you do that, you'll notice that all those streams form a tree-like structure horizontally over miles of land. Each one of these water trees is called a watershed. If you look at them through depth, you will see that most of them go from a high to low point or sea level. When you put all of these characteristics together, you get the generalized definition of a watershed, which is a system that defines a landscape by water drainage and whatever the water picks up along the way within geological slope boundaries. 
so you've watched the video. If you had any feeling of enjoying, please smash the like button below the screen and share it with your friends, family, acquaintances, students, teachers, professors, coworkers, etc. Also, hit that red subscribe button to stay in touch with all of my upcoming content on this channel. If you're feeling anxious about seeing my new videos, you just have to hit one more button and that is the bell notification. This will alert you to any new content that I post on my channel. If not, and you don't like it, this video, no worries, I'm not offended, but seriously, type in the comments below just a couple words why you didn't like it, or how could I make it better, so that you would come back and see my next video. Oh, and one more thing. This is actually a major rule that I have on this channel is that don't put any negative harassing comments or luring debates down below. Only genuine comments and questions. As I try to be as non-biased in my videos and stick to the facts, I expect you to be as non-biased, non-cynical, etc. as well. Okay, enough for me in this video.